welcome to another episode of Mocktails and Cocktails. <laughs> yeah, you did that so good. I didn't even look at you. I think I looked out in space. That's amazing. You know what we could talk about? Mm-mm. If the girlies would be comfortable with us moving our podcast upload date. Yeah. Can we change it? Can we change it from Wednesday to Friday? The girls, like, we, we're busy. We're really busy. Brains hurt. Life sucks sometimes. <laughs> We try. We really do. Just doesn't happen. We have jobs. The way that you said brain hurts, life sucks. It was like, yes. That's the mood. I have no thoughts in my brain ever. No, we've been singing for, I will. I've been singing for the last 10 minutes of being here. Got nothing in my brain. There's no thoughts in the brain. No. So, do we do remember when we first started we did like a poll and asked like the best yes day. and friday was it was a high up contender so yeah. i actually feel like friday was the winner yeah but I we chose too. wednesday because we were too excited to upload <laughs> yeah <laughs> so is it still friday okay can we can we do fridays because that would just help us with our schedules of like recording and then the turnaround to be able to upload on time and all yes. that good stuff that way shan is not stressed because i don't <laughs> I'm the editor. She is the editor because I don't know how. But that's okay. So, just to help homegirl out. And homegirl <laughs> so we can come over to like record and we can. Right. I have to drive. It takes two to tango here. Two. For sure. I have to move. <laughs> you do. But not like move, but like move. No, I got to get in the car and I don't leave the house much. <laughs> <laughs> so, takes a lot. Oh it my takes God. a lot for me to get out. No, I feel that yeah because honestly same yeah i make her come here yeah just okay. kidding no She's, you said you wanted to come here i don't care okay i'm here there we go uh for visual watchers Ryder is showing off his brand new toy that he got last night because we went to epcot last night and they have this little avocado toast mike wazowski for ten dollars instead of 37 no, so i eight, bought it it was eight then with your discount eight with my discount crazy so, cheapest thing you could ever get at disney world for a stuffy literally i just walked past it and i was like oh, he would love this and, and he does he does he sure does he literally brings it to me often he slept with it last night like i definitely did not know it was an avocado yeah it's like an egg avocado toast but it's thing cute. So it's the munchlings line and it's covered in dog slobber so and i will thank you right there we go thank you so much so nice of you yeah <laughs> so nice um, bye we also we have our bev today yes great new discovery yes Huge apparently news. water talk is a thing yes I've, i have not made it but i also haven't been on tiktok so can confirm water talk is a thing yes and aaron shows up with these packets of skittles yes not skittles but skittle like drink packets drink like packets. flavor stuff and they're in the water so this one's strawberry star fruit skittles water packet and mine is a it says mango, like mango tango or tango. something like that yeah. it was orange the orange packet they are this so is phenomenal. good phenomenal literally they're so good we'll link the link because it's delicious mm. like i mean that is so good it's so good it literally it's so good i was saying like this with some like vodka in it Woo! oh yeah champagne oh i was thinking you could even lacroix La Croix for like the a bubs. little bit of bubble and everything but it's so good water talk though i have been scrolling and then there was this um it was someone Whoops. and they had ooh, We're they good. had like a clear stanley cup and they were like i'm making my water for the day and they were putting like all of these packets in like a 60 yeah. ounce thing of water and then they put edible glitter i love that into the water <laughs> and i was what? like i love that could you imagine like walking into work with your like <laughs> your unicorn sister. glitter water <laughs> does it layer <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's okay. Aaron was saying somebody made a king cake, or somebody said, maybe it was Sophia, a king cake water. And they put like cinnamon and nutmeg and what? other stuff in it, and that sounds disgusting. I feel like we need to research more water talk stuff. Are you guys on I water know. talk? I need to like learn because I don't know what it is. I well, just know people I do the been. packets yeah. and stuff, but, but the Skittles, 
is crazy. The Skittles and then is I so was good. On Amazon, looking, and there was Nerds, Starburst, Jolly Ranchers. I want them all. The way you just said Jolly Ranchers itched my brain what in I a said? good way. You went Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> <laughs> itched Oops. my brain. That was good. Oopsies. I like that. Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what yeah. I say. But they had a pink Star Wars packet, and that one that piqued my interest. That would be insane. Also, I do feel like the blue Jolly Ranchers would be really good. Oh, for sure. Because blue Jolly Ranchers are really they good. They, like, make me... What, what is it? The thing in the back of Itchy? your mouth where, it like, whenever you have something sour and you can, like, feel it in the back of your mouth and you're like... Mm. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. Don't listen. Okay. It's fine. I'm like, the sour Skittles, like, mess up the sides of my mouth. Yeah, that's, like, kind of how it feels. Well, not like that. Like, messing up the actual side of your mouth, but, like, I don't know. How the sour, like, <laughs> oh. now I want something sour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have got Skittles today. Sour Patch Kids. I went anything actually, like that. I was at Publix earlier, and I was looking at the candy, and I was like, uh, Nerds Clusters, if I going to get one free. Mm-hmm. Dang, I still have two whole packs I in I didn't my pantry. Any, they I look have good. a pink pack and a blue pack. You got to get them all. I do. I should probably, honestly, like redo everything. Yeah, that's okay. You know, you'll eat them one day. <laughs> I will. <laughs> They'll just Eventually. sit in there until now. Until the time is right. Until, yeah, until it works out. Yeah. But we did go to Epcot last night. We did. It was we, fun. It was like not packed, which was awesome. No, yeah. Loved that. Great weather. The Fl- wind was winding and it felt good. It sure was. And it was the first time we went to Flower and Garden Festival. Sure was. Which we didn't do like Flower and Garden Festival stuff though. We stopped no. at a few booths. Stopped at a couple booths, that, but really didn't do much. No. Just dilly dallied around. It was nice to get out and like walk around. And have air. Yes, that felt so good. Air. And I had a little glass of wine. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. And it's then been a week. What was the other? Oh, uh, I got a, I don't know what it was called, but it was in Japan and it was sake, strawberry, and watermelon. Ooh. And it was good. It was a cute color. So. It was cute. It was cute. It was so good. I love strawberry watermelon. So, yum. Put a little sake in it. I actually sake. opened up to the lady and I was like, it's not hot, right? Because they have hot oh, sake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, hot right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Disgusting. I remember I went a bachelorette party a long time ago in epcot and they all got hot sake shots i like try to take ew. it and i had to like nope that's not for me ew that is not yeah disgusting but the drink is really good i like that better than the violet but i wish there was some ice cubes in it but oh I could, yeah i could find some ice. i do feel like a lot of times those festivals are lacking ice cubes yeah like make it cold yeah make it cold or I'll like s- fix your refrigerator situation <laughs> like what right. are we doing is there not like a freezer thing like a what Whatever. something um, we need something we did though get the beef tips from canada yes we did oh canada oh canada you are so it was so delicious good. it literally it was so it good it was so like it's in a mushroom sauce or something and oh it's phenomenal yeah. mushrooms kind of freak me out i don't like mushrooms but i was all. able to like pick around the yeah. mushrooms really easily yeah and the potatoes Comes in, in a bed of potatoes and some carrots it was so good oh literally it Dinner's was delicious now tonight because i'm gonna think about i know mushrooms. no literally i was talking before this about what we were gonna have for dinner i left the house asking so what do we got we said tacos Oh, I think we're going to do like a chicken and rice sort of situation, but we like mix it up and we do like fried onions in it with like sauces. I do have lettuce. I can make a Caesar salad. Boring. I love a Caesar salad, (gasps) but you got to like load it up. Yeah. You got to do like chicken and like cut it up in there and like, yeah. Yes. I also saw Publix has a hot honey chicken salad. What? That you can buy in like the pre. I love a pre- a salad thing, thing. And yeah i looked like ranch dressing sign me up okay i want it i'm gonna have to try that then I, it sounds like we gotta go to Publix. Tomorrow. sounds like we have to go to Publix. <laughs> twist my arm twist. i went for lunch today walked in wasn't raining walked out pouring oh my god yeah we had uh mm-hmm. tornado watches here so we did here yeah oh i didn't know that i got notifications on my phone that 
from like one o'clock to four o'clock we well, had tornado I sure watches did, i sure didn't get no notifications <laughs> sierra's driving around <laughs> with tornadoes around i was like wow it's quite windy out there but <laughs> oh yeah like tornado vibes you know oh my gosh i oh, can't yeah. with myself one day that's okay you're nothing, fine nothing you survived. happened actually my mom said there was one in ocala maybe that's kind of close the villages no no that's not close yeah it is it is village is way close that's only like 30 minutes from my house that is close i didn't know that is close i thought the villages was in like miami yeah you hear everybody talk about the villages on what's it called world golf village wrong place that is saint augustine florida (laughs) (laughs) that is across the street from the buckies (laughs) the buckies and the costco (laughs) really close (laughs) right there i mean the villages is like near us so we'll well, golf village me. your brain was probably thinking about the village <laughs> who knows I had the word village right had the word village <laughs> it's fine <laughs> there's a tornado yep there's a tornado that's great and we survived and then i'm trying to think of other things that we, we sur- survived <laughs> we even near us <laughs> <laughs> check mark on facebook mark safe mark. from the <laughs> the world golf village tornado i'm like two and a half hours away <laughs> mark safe it's like the earthquake da, da. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> that's right. our podcast machine has sound now i don't know if it came through but it it might have um so now we have uh <laughs> sounds i forgot i was like what is going on i'm so silly uh there was also a earthquake in oh, new york but yeah that's i had a lot of friends that felt it that's wild you know, the college girls all live up there and they're like yeah. did anyone else just feel that i'm like no Andre's not at all. family and friends were up there and they felt it that's crazy but apparently it happened so quickly no one even realized wait by the time it was done they were like that was an earthquake i saw the funniest tiktok it was this guy i don't know this lady and this man in the house and i guess they have their little thing recording and the guy's like it's a hurricane it's a hurricane, <laughs> hurricane. and she's like what do we do what do we do and they're like I- i've survived a hurricane before we'll be okay they thought like full the whole time was like it's a hurricane oh Um, my god it wasn't (laughs) jeez i loved watching all the new yorkers Uh, oh my god did you guys see my house shake (laughs) i saw saw (laughs) ones of like all of them on their porches out front yes yelling at the neighbors oh my god that like i'm happy Um, that everybody ended up being safe and i haven't heard of any casualties no or like any damage yeah which Which, is pretty shocking i yeah but it was a 4.5 i don't know magnitudes i think that's big i feel like it would have to be i feel like fives are highest the videos i saw on facebook was like shaking 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 in the house shaking shaking it was shaking yeah that's pretty baby. impressive that nothing was damaged that's called the northern builders doing probably, their job probably they and concrete ev- that up they sure do <laughs> oh we have an eclipse this week oh yeah the eclipse. crazy freaking week i was getting my nails done during the that eclipse feels like forever ago it um, does yeah i was working i walked outside and i was like didn't have any glasses <laughs> so i'm like <laughs> sitting there like trying to put my head out as far as the i can Sierra. and then i took my phone and i was like trying to like take yeah. a, like see it through my phone um yeah there's i literally was like nothing happened that was it what was that we yeah. didn't see anything andre had a picture because they i guess they had a like a solar eclipse party at work so oh, they cool. bought glasses for everybody that's so nice and they had like sunny d and cosmic brownies that's and like space funny. themed stuff Cute. and he sent me pictures of the eclipse from his phone because he was Wait. actually able to like look at did the he sun put it through his lens he like, did oh yeah no and he was sending me pictures and i was just sending him pictures of me getting my nails done because that's where i was at well this is and the second time i've tried to see one and failed miserably <laughs> because the first time i was in south carolina we did have glasses but the um it was too cloudy that day so we saw nothing i feel like everybody the last time it was in like 2017 no one could see it my mom and dad did it was the day they moved to south carolina they were literally like pulling into the driveway like just getting there yeah and it happened that's wild i know in 20 years though when the next solar eclipse happens it 
Orlando's in the Orlando path. is in the path. Yeah. So that'll be cool. That'll be so cool. But that also means a lot of people will travel here that to see it. That also means it. they'll be like 60 years old. I don't think I math right. No, you sure <laughs> didn't. <laughs> she sure didn't. We'll be... In 20? 50. I'll be 50. We'll be 50. It'll be in my 50th year. Yeah, 50th. Oh, that's silly. Nope, not 60, 50. Nope. Ew. 50 is going to be great, though. Uh, We'll get there one I day. I hope I'm close to retirement whenever I'm 50, but let's I be bet, real. I'm hope, never going to be able to I retire. I'm retired. <laughs> I will never be able to retire. Let's be real. Uh, yeah, Millennial I problems. I wish I could right now. <laughs> me too. I'm, I wasn't made to work. No, me either. I wasn't made to work. Not work hard. I was made to dilly-dally. Mm-hmm. Get my nails done. Me too. Get my hair done. I am made to be <laughs> a... Go sit in the sun. A stay-at-home wife. Uh, yeah. No, I'm a stay-at-home not... mom. A stay-at-home wife. A stay-at-home dog mom. Stay-at-home dog mom. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It's not for me. No, it's not for me either. But it's whatever. It's fine. We'll get through for now. We sure will. Keep playing my lottery tickets. Maybe I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll run the scratch one will day. probably win the lottery one day. No. I'm confident. I hope I'm so. I'm confident. We're manifesting it. I'm putting it into existence. I will win big on a scratch off yes. one day. Sierra won the lottery <laughs> is what I'm just going to keep I saying. I won the lottery. Sierra won the lottery. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Yep. I won the lottery. One roulette. <laughs> <laughs> not the roulette going to the casino tomorrow see you there <laughs> Just she has been talking about her casinos yeah i want to go so bad it's fine uh, i'll get there one day Ooh, we also what? went to the taylor swift night <gasps> we got asked to go and i was gonna go and then nobody else i figured would go just because you know yeah and then all of a sudden daphne was like i'll go and i was like really and then everybody else was like yeah we'll go and i was like oh <gasps> What? I literally just had a link sent to my text <laughs> and I was like, I'm assuming I need to purchase a ticket Shit, to a, this event. What am I buying? No, literally. <laughs> I was like, it, it, when am I supposed to buy this? Like, what's when going on? When is this? What's happening? No, it literally. So and it was so much fun. I That one was interesting because I actually played all Taylor Swift at it. Well, like, well other yes. than before it started. The, the playlist before sucked. But no yeah it was literally like sad songs yeah and it wasn't even was like popular on? songs no it wasn't i didn't know any I, but yeah they played all taylor swift this sing-along dance party event this past friday was so much better than the one before yeah so much better also i loved we like stood upstairs because we were at the house of blues yes and i loved like we had room and we I did. just loved that. We were in like a little corner. So if you perfect. went to the bathroom on the second story of the House of Blues <laughs> at the Taylor Swift dance party, we were the crazy group of people in the corner. We sure were. We were. We were dancing on the benches. Yep. We were swinging Shaking from one ass. of the poles. Yes. People were on their knees. Yeah. We kinda, swinging their hair. We went a little cry cry. We sure did. But it was so much fun. Yeah. I love them. They're I love the Swifty really girls. They're we so also fun. met a lot of people. Did we? Yeah. I feel like we kept like in passing like, oh my God. Hey. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What's up? Who are you? I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> like, that was literally like the whole night. It was cool. Yeah. There's there was like familiar faces. Yes. Which is cool. Last weekend I rotted one day and that was it. You went on the boat. Oh yeah. Oh, Saturday I rotted all day. The day after the Taylor Swift night. I needed a rot day after that. Though. Honestly though, I like, was dying. I rotted and I needed one of those. Then we did yeah. I went on a boat. I'm on a boat. Got some sun. I love a boat. We watched the day that you went on the boat because I can't go on a boat. Um, rip. Um, <laughs> we watched the the women's basketball game. Mm -hmm. That one. That was yeah. crazy. Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. Clark. My girl. My uh, girl. I was getting a little annoyed by her. <gasps> you I'm take so that back. You take that back. How? Because she was like acting like a baby out there a couple games ago oh she was she like threw an absolute temper tantrum her dad was like get her off the court bench her oh yeah i did see austin that austin did say that she did come out and apologize after but <laughs> it's still like okay no but it was really cool that that was like the most watched basketball game yes. in all of co co what college sports 
ever. I actually think that it was like the most watched bas- basketball game ever. I think for college sports. I think for even including no, the NBA. Really? I think. Don't quote me on that. But oh, I thought it was the just numbers for were hovering very close to the Super Bowl. Crazy. Hovering very closely, which is insane. That's the Caitlin Clark effect. I know it's the Caitlin Clark effect. Caitlin Clark, though, great for you. I'm so proud of you. Literally, <laughs> I am very excited to see what happens with her because she got me watching women's yeah. sports, which I don't normally apparently watch. Apparently, she's only a junior. So technically, she could play for one more year, she, but technically, she could get drafted for yeah. the WNBA. I would hope that she would while she's on this high try for the WNBA but yeah. also I understand if she would want to try another year trying mm-hmm. to get the NCAA title yeah which might actually be even better for women's college sports yeah, yeah. PR wise well and Austin said that like she's gonna get so many like deals with like brands and I was stuff gonna say that, the like, NCAA they're actually able to accept money yeah, now for deals so she'll probably make more money that way anyway smart so good for her yeah, honestly her? though she probably will like probably relatively speaking i bet the WNBA does not pay that well that's yeah and so she probably would make more from brand deals and a lot of the women in the WNBA that i was seeing on tiktok like scrolling listening to them talk about caitlin clark mm-hmm. they're bitter old women are they they are bitter old women they don't like her but a lot of these women in the WNBA were trying to say like Caitlin Clark was very clearly breaking people's records, oh. but some women were literally saying that she didn't break the record. I hold the record. Oh, it was the lady on the podium, right? I think so. That was one of them, and then there was another one oh. that they were like, "No, Caitlin Clark isn't anything." And it was like oh this God, whole like, thing of why like, "Why are we supporting her?" No, literally, I was like, "Why don't women support women?" Yeah, what? And it's like okay, like ma'am, they are bring. She is bringing people to basketball. No, literally, and she's bringing people through the pipeline from watching women's college sports to. Yeah like the WNBA. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like don't yeah, yeah. get pissed off about it. Yeah. Go We're starting away. a pipeline. Literally buy. Put your salt somewhere else. Literally buy. Women should support women and <laughs> I hate <laughs> Put your salt somewhere else. That's honestly they should. Why were you on the podium? Get some pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <sighs> yeah, but that's what I did on Sunday. I, I we watched did the game watch and that the- was it men's one. Oh, we watched the men's one too we watched also watched the woman's on his phone because we weren't home yet yeah we no watched. we got home it started at three so we were home for the end of it probably yeah yeah we were yeah we were we watched the whole thing time goes too fast I imagine don't. being what six foot six foot seven and a woman y'all some of the is she no oh. um some of the girls from what was the other purdue no that's men's <laughs> UConn. It wasn't. No, it was Gamecocks, South Carolina. USC. Yes. Yes. Uh, one of the girls was six foot seven. <gasps> That's insane. I was like, some of those men are like seven feet. I like, insane. They, 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 I could not imagine being that tall. I feel tall. That's tall. There was the reporter. I would love to stand around him though and feel short oh for my a gosh. moment. There was a reporter <laughs> that. that was reporting with one of the guys after the men's one, after the first men's guy or first men's game, and she was so short next to him like oh when they were talking like he was talking and they yeah. zoomed in on his head she didn't even show up on the screen anymore because she was <gasps> she's having to put the mic <laughs> they brought her they brought her a ladder for the second game oh my god they were literally joking after that interview i was like they should get you a ladder and then the second game she had a ladder Stop. Mm-hmm. well i literally was watching the women's game and one of the commercials it was like the official ladder of the double nca Stop. and i was like what are the official ladder honestly of the ncaa yeah what is going on yeah that was that was wild why not literally that was wild <laughs> we did not have to go on that tangent but <laughs> we did i was like that, that it was happened just, it was a big thing in the news it was really big it was a big thing and in the it world. was really awesome to watch something that typically you're like watching men's yeah. sports all the time that it was cool having the spotlight on women yeah i i was sitting there while we were watching the basketball games I'm like this is just funny that men are watching these like younger boys play like i think some about of that these all the time kids on the basketball teams are younger than 21 years old 
I and think these, about that all the time. Men, Megan, Megan, my friend Megan. Yeah. Um, because Alabama was in the final four. They were, and they lost. And she's a big Alabama fan. <laughs> she said, "Can't believe I let these eighteen-year-olds ruin my weekend." I'm like sitting there. I'm like, these she old- put that into perspective. I know. I'm like, these older men are just like rooting for these children, and they think my obsession with Taylor Swift is weird. But like, can we? Men are like just watching these. They're good. They know everything about these other men on fa- basketball teams and football teams and baseball teams. They know everything about their stats and all these things. But me being obsessed with one person is weird. But they can be obsessed with all these men throughout the sports. But it's even not like I wouldn't even necessarily call a lot of them men. They're just they're guys. Yeah. 18 19 year olds yeah i'm even thinking, especially like the college sports no literally college and football the college football sports the college basketball sports. yes yeah. and they hold them to way too of a like way too high of a right. standard sometimes too like march madness is such a huge thing children and they're children they're children they're children they're children that can be they convicted can, as adults they can't even legally drink no insane literally wow when yeah, you think of it that so way, true. it's like, what the hell? That is so true, though. Yeah. They're, like, more than 10 years <laughs> younger than us. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, and people are obsessed with it. <laughs> the older men are obsessed. They really are, though. <laughs> Make it make sense. Crusty old men. And they're betting on them. They're putting money on they're them. They're putting money on them. So what's wrong with your Taylor Swift obsession? Thank you. Yes. At least it's one human one human and you're not like throwing your money at something that you think is gonna work right i'm not betting on her no you're not I'm you're betting not. on a great show exactly. which she's gonna deliver and 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 some of them have like season passes to these basketball and football games and those are expensive and or they get tickets to all the games and then they tailgate them and then they have to watch every game and like the yankees play for like half the the freaking year and my one concert i will okay not this time but my <laughs> concert is too much and me watching the live streams is stupid but you guys have to watch all of that why am i ranting about this no right i now? love it i, I love it but it really like if you really think about it that's wild if you really think about it if you re- the sun <laughs> hello hello the eclipse <laughs> <laughs> that that did more than the eclipse did. it really did that for just us. did more that's funny that did a lot more than the solar <laughs> the polar eclipse <laughs> that's so funny oh my Ooh. gosh when i went to Publix today sorry that <laughs> <laughs> i love this <laughs> it was so windy outside when i got out i was like whoa and i was like i feel like i'm in that episode of spongebob where he's like the crust yes. is the pizza yes. for you and me and he's walking against the wind and he's like blowing i felt like that oh my god andre last <laughs> night when i was trying to go to bed Please. was playing through a playlist on spotify of every nickelodeon theme song oh my gosh yes when he got to the backyard again that's where i was like i'm drawing the line we're done <laughs> turn it off on the line it was like victorious and then drake and josh oh, all wow. that hey arnold the amanda show he was going through it. i'm trying to sit there and read throne a glass <laughs> and, he, and he's like your backyard <laughs> imagine you're like please go to bed yeah that was how i got there though <laughs> from your story was oh, that SpongeBob. spongebob yes but then also my car was blowing all over the road last night and then i was like i just want to lay down i want to go to sleep and then i'm sat there here i never thought that it'd be so simple <laughs> Oh, it's, man. it's funny. It is but. funny. Wait, I have to read what Andre texted us this morning. It is too early for this, people. And he texted us. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. He says, if 1999 was said as 1999 and 1777 was 1777, what was 1111? Follow up to that. Tw- 22 is 22 and 3. Should I be saying as like three three is thirty three? Then wouldn't that make one 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 eighty one? <laughs> it was way this too is early. Nine nineteen in the morning. I said, my I, brain hurts. 
I text. I said, I have not had enough caffeine for this. You literally said that word for word. Good job. Oh, I did? Yeah, word for word. That's what you said. Wow, look at me remembering things. My memory has been shit recently. It hurt my head. I was like, 77... 1D1. 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 Why are you telling that? I don't even know why. Oh my god. I'm looking though at um, the (laughs) I tried to talk. I'm looking at the responses from the Instagram story. Oh yeah, I got that bored was and I posted a story. She sure did. I was at dinner and then I ended dinner. She one probably night. looked at it. I was like, "What the and hell?" Then, no, I looked at it and I was like, oh, "Let me go and like look and see what everybody's responding." I was so bored. I love it. And um, you guys responded with uh, quite a bit of stuff. Yes, and we also have two follow-ups from. Oh the my last god! Yes, podcast. we have follow-ups from the last podcast because. <sighs> Number one, I just want to say a big I'm sorry to, is his name Robert? Robert. (laughs) I'm so sorry, Robert. Like, literally, I thought, both of us thought that that girls listen to this podcast, and we did not know that we have some young kings listening to this podcast. I also should know how to read, and... (laughs) read his name as robert his name very clearly in the username is robert <sighs> i am so sorry so King. i read the story everybody completely wrong completely and, wrong and then i was calling the girl bisexual <laughs> because i thought it was a girl i am so sorry robert you didn't robert deserve that from did us let us know after it aired <laughs> He was, in fact, <laughs> he a is. male, and I sat there, I'm not kidding you, wide eye, like, holy shit, and I, then I busted laughing, I, I couldn't even help. laughing. I was like, I'm, one, mortified, two, yes. <laughs> I feel so bad, and three, oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> no, literally, we should have read your username, yeah, and we, that was on us. Total fail on my part for not using my eyeballs. Sorry. Sorry, Robert. You're still a king. <laughs> still a king. The girl still fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the girl still sucks. Our opinion uh, still stands. Still stands. Still she stands. Sucks. Yeah, she sucks. <laughs> she sucks. And then, um, oh my god, a DM yes. came through. The DM, the girl that said that she was on a date with a guy and he got kicked out of the baseball game. Yes. And that was like the context of the, there was like no additional contacts. She followed up with the whole story story and it's incredible i was peeing my pants laughing the other night on the couch reading it maybe yeah maybe you should read this time (laughs) hey girlies just thought um (laughs) i'm so excited for you to read our our queen alexa (sighs) hey girlies just thought i would send an update slash full story on being the girl whose date got oh (laughs) your name what do you call your echo? What's your echo's name if your name is A L E X A? Great question. That was funny. She uh, just please talked. DM us and let us know. Okay, hey girlies, just thought I would send a, an update slash full story on being the girl whose date got kicked out of the baseball game, and this is that so whole good. whatever. This is he so was good. a hinge date, and he had great combos on the dating app and through text. Great. He was really chatty. Asked questions asked great questions and we had lots in common so he said he had season tickets to the padres and i said yes we (laughs) met at his apartment and took the public trolley to the stadium first red flag (laughs) walking to the stadium he tells me he shared his weed with and i quote a homeless man who lived behind that dumpster (laughs) (laughs) and was so excited to tell me dot 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 question mark please Oh my god. You already were put through the ringer. Second red flag. He buys us spicy margaritas and he grabs the drink by the lip of the cup. (laughs) But there was tahini and salt on the rim, so now it's all over his fingers. That's disgusting. (laughs) Imagine holding a margarita like that. Immediate ick. And knowing there's salt on it. (laughs) And tahini. That gets sticky. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my god. Third red flag. (laughs) We get to our seats and he downs his drink and tells me, and I quote, I'm going to take a piss. 
He's also grumpy. His hands are sticky because he's an idiot. So now I'm sitting alone and put my phone away just to focus on the game. Girl, this is a lot. Oh, there's more, guys. It gets so good. Because I'm a sporty girl. Uh, because I'm a she, sporty. I'm, that's I'm a sports girl. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. But he never came back. After probably 30 minutes, I get suspicious and check my phone. I have 10 missed calls and tons of texts from him asking me to come and help him. He's getting kicked out. Meet him outside the stadium. We need to leave. I take my sweet time. I call my friends and make sure they can track me on Find My Friends and go to meet him. So smart of smart. you. Very smart. So smart of you to make sure that's on. Um, he tells me the guy next to him in the urina- in the urinals tinkled on his foot. And he, pr- he proceeded to punch him. <laughs> Oh my god. Punched he him. Punched him in the bathroom. I'm sure I Willie. it was his own pee. I'm too. sure Willie's were out and everything when the punches were yes. had. It was probably his own pee. It probably was. Um, security escorted him out and he got his season tickets revoked. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why, but I tried to salvage the night and offered to go out to a sports bar to finish the game, but he refused. So nice. We had to take the trolley back to his place, and we were silent the whole ride. (laughs) By the time I got home, he had the nerve to already unmatch me on Hinge before I had the chance to. Honestly, that was the part that made me the most mad. Not the multiple red flags, but long story short there it is my (laughs) hilarious tragic dating life i tell this story every chance i get because i find it to be peak comedy it's so funny that is i wild as you can see i was dying laughing back to her like literally i'm with you not not sharing the weed with the homeless man behind the dumpster (laughs) oh honestly for that to be like the first thing to happen no literally and i think she said he mentioned like he had to get rid of it before they got in the stadium or something that is absolutely (laughs) insane uh also what the hell that he had such great (laughs) chemistry with you and great conversation before Uh, the game and then the moment you meet him in person it's like he's this totally other guy that is the funniest story and i was like i'm so sorry i hate that i'm laughing because that is a horrible time to go through but gosh that is so funny to hear i honestly am really happy that you are (laughs) turning it into humor because that is one hell of a story you would have to turn it into humor after that (laughs) tinkle on foot throw the punch (laughs) what (laughs) that is absolutely wild weed with the homeless man and literally full raw dog in handing gotta take a, a piss. margarita <laughs> gotta take a piss oh I my can't. god i literally cannot oh my god the fact that she sent that honestly you're it. a queen queen we love you that was my favorite that gave me so much that, entertainment the other night i was laughing wow. so hard i wow i needed a good giggle literally that, that gave me it. needed a good giggle <laughs> wow other stuff that y'all were messaging us some of them i don't feel qualified to answer <laughs> by we'll any tell means you what it says uh, but we won't be able know how to deal with your anxieties <laughs> medicine <laughs> and then on on that note when you find out you let me know because i i don't know no well nope i got I my anxiety know. ring right here that spins <laughs> like that does nothing but pretend it probably does something uh no i take meds (laughs) 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 and last (sighs) night i was sat in my bed with uh heart palpitations because i don't know where my anxiety is coming from but it's coming from somewhere uh i i genuinely i don't know deep breaths and think of a happy place i don't know (laughs) i i don't know um putting on (laughs) a comfort movie yeah, or like music if you're more into music. Like and I listen to m- m- what? <laughs> <laughs> my man, I, I have a rage music playlist. You were telling us about this. I do love my rage music playlist. Really, it comes in good hands when you're mad. Uh, I like music, so that's like my coping me- mechanism. I also find for me working out consistently helps with my anxiety. Hmm. See, maybe yeah. I should try that. 
I I should try that honestly for <laughs> me because I don't have any races coming up. So literally, I have been so not disciplined in working out or anything. But for me, when I'm on a consistent workout schedule, I barely have anxiety. Wine also helps me. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> the fact that we are two totally different people i'm like fresh air really helps me I'm like wine working and meds. out really helps me and sierra's like wine and meds baby that concoction baby listen it helps other people it's the it's the concoction to life. oh my god somebody uh, else asked us have you guys tried the sleepy cocktail or is it called a mocktail there's apparently a sleepy mocktail i have yet to try it that has like magnesium and cherry juice and all this stuff i've never heard of it i haven't tried it no i probably should magnesium's kind of expensive though i've never tried it mixing magnesium stuff too restless no (laughs) take some meds for that too restless Sierra's just gonna take you through her prescription meds you wanna do you wanna haul (laughs) God. so silly so silly gotta laugh about it y'all and i feel like this is a general one somebody asked why shannon mia on youtube i explained it in my latest youtube video i just posted one today youtube dropped today i am literally so sorry i haven't been active on youtube um but yeah i'm sure everybody misses the sierra cam they miss the sierra cam what a fail on your part I know i'm sorry that's it is my you- fault that brings you the most views. It, honestly, I'm being so dramatic. no, but like people enough. comment, yeah. like I love Sierra Cam. I need more Sierra Cam. Well, so this YouTube not going to be the best it, because it doesn't have Sierra Cam. But I oh, have but something it does very have close. Taylor Swift. In it, it does right? have Taylor Swift. The Taylor Swift sing along event. Honestly, that's probably even more wild. It was. I had to cut a lot of footage out because some <laughs> of it was. We were crazy, guys. We were crazy, and I don't want to be. Well, nothing. I we did was like demonetizing by any means but like i actually jumped off the balcony <laughs> and it swung from the oh disco ball my God. it's like morgan wallen throwing the chair <laughs> off the sixth know. floor i know why was he smiling in his mug shot why not he said i did that i cannot believe that and uh, i literally at this point i'm like morgan wallen is in my top five on spotify and i'm like <laughs> it, morgan i can't even defend your actions i literally cannot defend him anymore He's lucky it didn't hit anybody, but it did. It came close. close to the cops. I saw the cop carrying the chair, and I was like, "I saw like, the TikTok that was like, this is the chair, the, the <laughs> chair." I saw a girl that posted. I guess she was in Nashville for the weekend, and her caption was like, "Survived the chair thrown over." Uh, Mark safe. Or some Mark safe. Mark safe. It was Mark safe from the from yeah, any whatever. chair in Nashville. Whatever it was, it was it was funny. She was Mark safe. It was funny. That is wild. But also, that's very like solar eclipse energy. Like the night before the solar eclipse, people go crazy Wait, that was the night before the night before the solar eclipse dead probably why he was smiling in his picture probably he said he I said did that he said e. <laughs> that was that was crazy that, i thought i didn't think that was his mugshot at first because i thought, it, either. I thought it was just a random like photo of him me too because he looked so happy oh yeah he was way too happy to be throwing that chair morgan he said my pr team they got this <laughs> they'll take care of it also sure how do. did he get out of jail so fast is my question three felony charges it said he could be into jail for up to 15 years reckless endangerment but also he got out of jail really fast i guess it's because his pr team and he was in nashville that's what i stand on but i was like that was fast because also it could have been a thing where like i don't know how that works in nashville that like well i was just thinking do music artists have like different laws i there's no way i was thinking of like getting out of jail i was thinking of duis but they make you there at least till you're sober though too. yeah so i don't know i don't know his were three felony counts of reckless what endangerment what if he goes to jail for 15 years rip he i don't know he did it to himself at That'd that point crazy. that would be crazy but honestly imagine the music that's gonna come out he's he's gonna say once he's out last night i definitely let the lake or talk <laughs> I threw some chairs over the building and it almost hit a cop. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, God. I mean, if Jelly Roll did it, so can he. Maybe I should be a country singer. Wait, did Jelly Roll go to jail? Yeah, Jelly Roll was in jail for a long That's time. That's what I thought. He said he was in and out of jail for like years. And I love Jelly Roll. Jelly oh Roll God. and Bunny are amazing. Okay, I will say, I've just been getting annoyed with the award shows because him and Lady Wilson could just keep winning everything and like give somebody else a chance. But he... I love Jelly Roll. I know, I know, I love him too. <laughs> and he's, he, he should be a mode of Jelly Roll. When he's up on Jelly the stage, Roll. he's like... I just want to shout this one out to the guys in prison. You, we gonna make it, guys. I, I'm, I can, do, I, if I can do it, you can do it too. We got out of the jail and we turned our life around. And now look at me. I'm standing here today on stage, and I did it. You can do it too. I love Jelly Roll. That that's his motivational speak. Oh yeah. <laughs> and honestly though, have you watched him speak before? I think it was before Congress about the fentanyl. I did. That was really impressive. I was captivated. He sounded a little better than his he does at the award shows there. But, but I mean, he's shaking at them award shows. He is shaking it. I would be too if I had to speak in no, front of that no, many people. No, he does so good. No, but he sounds like like he's Martin Luther King out there with his motivational speaking. I yeah. He is very 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 good at it yeah you go jelly rolls you go jelly roll so if jelly roll can turn his life around i so feel like morgan morgan wallen needs think, to spend a little more have, time to I jelly think roll? That he should probably meet with jellies yeah i feel like there needs to be a mentor situation yeah, in there i think jelly roll should probably be like man we gotta talk yeah i think exactly i'm gonna get you out of there if i can make it through with this you can too he's <sighs> It just like it makes me worry and then mm-hmm. you look at like morgan wallen's closest friends they're not throwing chairs off buildings <laughs> so i'm like you are who you surround yourself with who right. the hell is he surrounding himself right. with? right and why didn't throw your a chair like stop that? you thank you why where were the they friends tell you, let's not do that today where were the friends <sighs> come on morgan 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 get it together i need you to pull it together for the team yes can't wait though for the prison tracks <laughs> can't wait <laughs> they're gonna be good Betty. they're gonna be good someone's gonna have to sneak him in a little recorder they're gonna have to do something he'll get the beats. can you have a guitar in no it's probably, probably classified not. as a weapon probably yeah never mind but no. never mind don't want to find out um other things we've talked about how to make friends we have a friends episode That's episode two episode two how to make friends check it out no i think it's episode three i lied it might be episode three yeah check it out we talk about um how we've made friends how we suggest to make friends in your 20s mm-hmm. how awkward it is how mm-hmm. great it is mm-hmm. all the things check it out we have a whole episode on that um i'm trying to look at other things people are asking about our summers mm. what we vibes for summer trips for summer clothes goals vibes vibes i actually made myself a little two summer little backgrounds on here i've Cute. got i got a sunset one that one's really pretty that sunset. you can see it and i got a i got a blue one i had to burp sorry look at how beachy is that oh i love that yeah it's cute Typhoon the Google vibes me. baby um, vibes baby so where i'm getting my bathing suits this year <laughs> that's a good question where are you getting yours okay so i love aries but i actually haven't bought any this year i just ordered one from target i'm out of target because i bought this cute whole thing because it's target circle week i bought a bag i bought sandals i bought a baseball cap and i bought a bikini and they didn't put the bikini in the box so rude i was pissed so Anywho, they have really cute bikinis. They, they're on. They're if it's still Target Circle Week, it's they're on good sales. I feel like Target Circle Week lasts for two weeks. Yeah, well, be check it out. I have heavily gotten influenced. I get ads all the time for those like Kalui bikinis. Oh yeah, Kalani bikinis or whatever. Kalani's. Yeah. I hit by. You did. I hit by this week. You did. Yeah. They look really cute, though, on the girls. Yeah. They look good. There's just been this one dang one that keeps popping up in the ads every time I see it. I see this ad seven times a day. I'm telling yeah. you. And, but the, I could never find the bikini on site. And I clicked this week, and the bikini was on the sale site. And it was on sale. 
And then I found a 10% off coupon, which worked on top of the sale. There you go. I had to buy it. It would have been illegal not to purchase it. I had to know. You, Yeah, you have to. It was more expensive than I ever wanted to pay for a bathing suit. Not that it's like... Like, I think it was maybe like $30 for the bottom. But some for bathing top. suits are literally like, yeah. you know, $180. I mean, that's way more than I want to spend, but I needed to know. If I had that ad I'm come in. up on one more time, I was going to cut myself. But Aerie and Target are my top two faves. I love, for the curvy girlies and girlies with big boobies, <laughs> I'm here for you. Um, I love Aerie. Mm-hmm. I feel like all of us, like every Everybody. single girl I know wears Aerie. And they're like, good quality. So good. And they've lasted me for like years. Mm-hmm. Like they rarely ever go bad. And they're the ones I wear the most. Yes. Yeah. And then also I love love the brand cup she on amazon yeah they're so I just ordered good an amazon one too yes amazon has some great ones just look at the reviews i had a hard week and i i didn't have a hard you week. gotta click purchase a lot i clicked purchase and then i got then it was just like addicted then you just had to keep then going i was just like oh oh Oh, oh, oh. we're just gonna blame it on the eclipse yeah eclipse has been wanting you to spend some money so we i haven't done it in a while but yes amazon has great ones amazon too. has you really good ones read the reviews for sure yeah. and also or amazon just the chance if there's none there you go amazon also has really great cover-ups and you know what Ooh, else yes. abercrombie just launched a curve love i saw tops. and people have been raving i've, I've seen, seen so many that. videos and instagram stories on the curve love tops yeah, I've so that. i'm gonna have to try You're some of those have to try one i am I saw hollister had some cute bathing suits too i haven't been on hollister's website in a minute it was a tiktok eh. but yeah you got you should check that out i need to can't can't i can't give a good review for that one i gotta know for the girls for the girls I'll with f- the girls i'll find the padded ones for everybody <laughs> i love this ah, yeah those, those are the two places i shop yeah me too I've done Shein before, but I've never done Shein. Shein, Shein, you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah, actually, but my bathing suits all have been pretty like with he- like withstanding, withstanding. Yeah, but there's, I mean, I still have some from like two years ago. I feel like reviews are the most pivotal yeah, when it comes to, to bathing the suits. Reviews. Yes, got to read the reviews. And also, I will say this with trying on bathing suits: do not try <laughs> on bathing suits when you are on your period. Or a couple days before your period. I will save you the mental breakdown. Don't do it. <laughs> Wait yeah. until you're over your period and you're like a couple days after Don't in your that. follicular phase to try them on. You and your phases. I know. But, <sighs> but you know how like you have those days. If you're feeling really bloated and you're, and you're feeling That's like really down on yourself, to don't try put it on. put a bathing suit on. No, don't try it on. No. Yeah. No. I actually... <laughs> in my uh, shopping spree this week <laughs> i love this uh i ordered two graphic t-shirts from buckle they are billabong brand what <laughs> not the bedazzled jean storefront i know i don't know how i i ended up on there because of like to know it I don't really know. i don't know how i ended up on buckles website somehow I ended up on buckles website and i started looking at their graphic tees wow i found two really cute billabong like super colorful sunny tops i can't wait to see they're in my car <laughs> oh my god they I were sitting this. on the front porch when i got home like, we're not gonna let Austin see those ones today <laughs> does he listen to this podcast i don't know i don't some I don't, I don't know. Austin, if you listen to this podcast, I need you <laughs> to send a text to the both of us in a group, and all you're gonna say is the penguins are sliding. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're gonna say, and then I'll know the penguins are sliding. The penguins are sliding, and then Andre's in the other room, so I can't say it well, about him. He's here. He's asleep. Oh my god! In the bedroom, no he was here. he's got white noise in his ears. Oh and shit! He's I had asleep. no idea he was here. Yeah, he's asleep. Oh. Yep. Well, I got a re- the baseball cap. I have to show you. It's really cute. Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> I'm excited now. Oh, I lost my marbles. I also got pink pickle balls. Cute. <laughs> you were looking at those for a while. Yeah. Listen, my Amazon cart there sat for about two months. I was adding things and taking things out and adding things and taking things out. And this week I finally lost my marbles and I said it's time. But I did. I took things out. 
before I bought. I was like, okay, I necessarily, I don't need that right now. But I do need this. <laughs> but I don't need that. And so, yeah. yeah. I got something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see um, I, if anybody knows. I did buy what um, tube tops off Amazon that I saw a lot of girls wearing on a tube LTK. Top too. This one. And I bought a, a three pack. Oh, a three pack? Yeah, I bought a three pack two- for me. Oh, wait, okay. I bought. You guys are really getting like the inside scoop on like what it's like. I thought I bought mm-hmm. something else that I didn't buy. Oh, well, there you have okay, it. Okay, well then could somebody give me the review on it? The L'Oreal the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Oh, I've seen so many people on TikTok say anybody, that that's a drunk elephant dupe. Anybody got like what's a dupe? Is that like is that tinted moisturizer is that foundation it's like, no it's like bronzing what, drops what do you do no so it's just like a bronzer in a bottle this yeah but it's supposed to be glowy yeah glowy and hoey it says it's, natural glow enhancer it's like a highlighter like you're putting a highlighter on all over your, your whole, face oh so you don't put it on your whole face you can put it on your face and then put on your foundation oh i need well i need a um a tinted moisturizer for the summer so if anyone has oh, any yeah racks, if you guys like any if anyone has please any let racks, us know let me know please let me know um the only thing i purchased this week was stuff on amazon but it's like really boring stuff like <gasps> i needed I you know toilet some bowl cleaner. pants those are cute i got this free people dupe t-shirt got a cute little tube top that one's cute i got a strapless bra in nude because i could use a new i, I like, also bought a new strapless bra i don't have one of those a nude strapless bra i bought this elf loose okay. powder loose powder right is that something yeah look what i also bought halo Glow i have that beauty wand highlight. it's so nice yes i have that <laughs> and i love it i don't like makeup i don't know what i'm doing so I sound like a t- anytime other people tell me to buy stuff i buy it how cute is that bikini yeah yeah i'm obsessed that's so, so cute. cute only two reviews i took a chance on it everybody so sierra's gonna be the third review <laughs> <laughs> and that i i have that yes i wore it the other so night we like it to steakhouse 71 oh. it did not move the tube top on amazon <sighs> so cool that thing did not move and pink pickles and pink pickles pickle balls <laughs> There you I'm have it. Tell- okay, well, so for future reference, the girlies are going for the summer vibes. Yes, we are totally going, I'm going for, the- for color. I'm going I for. Don't be I don't know yet. I really want to watch more sunrises and sunsets <gasps> Wait, this that's year. So funny. I really want to do it this year. I bought it. <laughs> what did you buy? <gasps> oh my god! Someone stop me! I bought a T-shirt. <laughs> I bought a t-shirt. Is this why last night you were telling all of us to buy things because you've been buying things all week? Maybe. Maybe I needed to feel something. I don't know. Um, I bought a t-shirt. It's from Cutting Creative Apparel. Don't know how I found it. <laughs> Ryder's like yanking my arm. I'm like, Let wow. me show you. I really want to buy sweatsuits from the beach club. Oh my God. I saw <laughs> my coworker just got one of yeah. those. Yeah. But I also need people to know that oh. Sierra links a lot of stuff on her LTK. So you guys need to follow her on LTK because she links such good stuff. It says, okay, I got the <gasps> banana color. Forever but, chasing sunsets. And the front though has on, how do I work this website? <clears throat> the front has um, just a little line with a little sun. Cute. It's like super basic, but the back is super cute. And I got it in the banana. I love it. And it's like orange text. It's so cute. Forever chasing sunsets. I love that. Yeah, that's like so me. I love a sunset. No, literally. So. So cute. All uh, it came this week. Oh, yeah, there's the Cute. Front. How freaking cute is I that? I really like this. I know. I'm going to have to look at their shop. Okay, I'll send it I to you. I want to be a beach girl this summer, even though we don't really live close nope. to the beach. But we'll be I beach. would love to be a beach girl this summer. I sent it to you. It's so cute. They have really, they got they got a great feet. And I thought I had my their Tommy Bahama chair at my feet. parents' house. You I don't. don't where is I don't it? know where it is. I feel like their feet is good. Their feet is really good. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm watching sunsets today. There we go. <laughs> Ta-da. Yeah. So well, those are the summer vibes I want. Me too. I want to be a beach girl. Me too. I'm in my beach era. I want to be in my beach era. I guess I'm moving to St. Pete. <laughs> Looks like we're moving. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, so Sorry, Orlando people. Got a blast. Got a blast. <laughs>
It, honestly, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if we sat here one week and we were like, we have an announcement. We're moving. We're moving. It would not surprise Jeez, me at all. No. Whoops. I tried. You know, we're just here for the fun. Yeah. We're here for the vibes. Just thriving and living. Um, mm-hmm. To make sure that this episode doesn't go like super long. Okay. Do you have a hyperfixation this week other than spending money? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm reading um, a book Ooh. called, you, you read it, everybody recommends it, The Happy Place. My Happy Place? <gasps> yes, Happy Place by Emily Henry. Yeah, it's really good. Ah! It's really, really good. It is so good. Yeah, it's really cute. It's and, like, really cute. I'm rooting for them. Oh, like, oh yay. Cute love. It's really cute. Yeah, that's, it's, I've been like reading it. It's about a a guy and a girl that were engaged Mm -hmm. but they go on this well they call it off yes they call it off don't tell anybody because they're going on a summer vacation with all of their college friends that they've been doing for years and years and years Mm -hmm. and they don't want to ruin this vacation so they don't tell anybody they don't tell anyone after and it's like the whole sharing the bed trope because and the everybody thinks they're together yep everybody thinks that they're together yes and it honestly it was the most beautiful story it's so of cute. even you'll get to the part where like there is no real villain like another person doesn't come in to be yeah. the villain mm-hmm. it's like it literally is like how sometimes we can be our own worst villains mm-hmm. and it's like mm-hmm. such a beautiful story That's like kind of where i'm at oh yes okay mm-hmm. good i was I gonna say like, it. but she's like finding out that like that didn't happen because of that yes. like and she did because she didn't do this this is where because it gets in good. her head she thought she was making things yes. worse but really yep yep it gets oh it's so good emily henry is so good i, know, I hope they end up together it's so good she is coming out with another book, book very soon week, right mm-hmm. yeah i'm very excited hair. word on the street <laughs> i'll read it i love it yay that's my that'll be mine for the week i love it what's yours mine is a creator i feel like a lot of mine have been creators recently that's okay but it is a girl called brianna i don't know her last name tata oh i was gonna say chicken fry brianna tata <sighs> brianna chicken fry is my hyperfixation <laughs> every week every week i was keeping up with boston this week boston had surgery oh no because she, she ate something off of uh zach's birthday cake oh <gasps> They had to pay twenty thousand dollars to get her stomach pumped and twenty thousand twenty thousand dollars. What yes. kind of doctor did they go to? They went to an emergency vet Holy because their real moly. vet kept turning them away. <gasps> they need to get vet insurance for they that poor do. little puppy. Oh my god! Um, but my hyperfixation is a creator called Brianna Tata. Mm-hmm. I think that's how you pronounce her What's last she name. On? She's on Instagram, and but I've been binging her YouTube videos, oh. and she creates Disney content. Oh, and so I, Ryder, get out of my camera shot. Um but Ta-ta. brianna she's so cute and i love her vibe i love she's super cute she reminds me a lot of like aaron's kind of vibe a little bit mm-hmm. but like her personality on youtube shines so much and i have been absolutely binging her youtube videos i sent her a message on instagram and i was like if you do not keep posting youtube videos i don't know what i'm gonna do with myself Stop. because i really she enjoy her the content girl on your youtube when i walked in yes oh cute she's really sweet and she's so cute she's got a gorgeous engagement ring right beautiful she, she's cute her and her fiance are also really cute he's in her content a lot and yeah i've just They're become cute. obsessed with them she is a pats fan though oh sorry you're just gonna have to overlook that and like don't look want at the pants, but it's okay she's so cute i really like her also her hair naturally curly is gorgeous it's beautiful oh she's so cute yeah i really like her brianna so you guys follow her on instagram you guys follow her on tiktok and youtube i don't know if she's on tiktok it's never mind e-r-i-a-n-n-a-t-a-t-a Ta-da. brianna Tata. what a, is that her last name i don't know because that's a cool last name it's a cool last name but i want that last name i'm obsessed with her and i You're messaged really her cute. already that i'm obsessed with her so <laughs> you know you probably made her day i hope so I she hope. was really sweet we were just like talking back and forth cute yeah but i'm very much so obsessed with her vibes on um youtube and stuff and i love watching creators mm-hmm. that are 
I don't know. It's just, it's something so new and so fun. And it like reinvigorates me to like want to do more stuff too Cute. because of just like watching new people. And I don't know. I love that. I just love the genuine joy and like the genuine fun. And I don't know. Cute. I love it. And I'm so excited about her wedding and everything this <gasps> year. We're going to keep up with you. We're going to keep up. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching. We're always watching. I'm always. If there's one thing me and Sierra do, we creep. We know. We know. We see. We might not be liking your stuff. We might not be commenting, but we watch. We got eyes everywhere. We got eyes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll let each other know. Did, oh, you, we did will. you see? Did you see this? Did, did you, you see, see this? Oh my God. Did you see her? She's so cute. Did you see her outfit? I want it. No, literally. Be like, link the outfit. Bathing suit? Gimme literally so we're we're watching you guys mm-hmm. might not think we're looking we're looking we see you we see you sorry sorry we don't engage because sometimes it's more fun to like peer in the shadows yeah yeah i, I like being mysterious sometimes because let's be fucking for real are me and you mysterious did you classify <laughs> us as mysterious no no i can't even lie to save my life me either and like i'm not kidding if somebody had a gun up to my head and was like saying something that i like he was like live right now about something. I wouldn't be able to. I would be like, I have Tourette's. <laughs> and then I would laugh because I would lie. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, I can't lie. If I ever tried lying to anybody, everybody would know because I'm like <laughs> smiling. Just like Ry- you. Ryder literally is looking at us like, wrap it up. He's like, mom. Aunt he needs Cece. us. He needs us to make his his dinner. That's Aunt what he needs. Cece. He needs us oh, to make his I know, dinner. Buddy, I know. Our stupid dog has kibble fatigue. Um, I don't want to talk oh. about it. It's horrible. I know. Um, but that that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah, because we enjoyed making it. Yeah, we have fun. Yeah, that was really random stuff. So sorry, we love you guys. Hope you enjoy the randomness of the randoms. The randomness of the randoms. We tried. <laughs> Apparently, y'all like us just like blabbing. We'll talk all day for you. I will want. talk all day. <laughs> okay, well, TTYL. Love ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>